do you do you like getting the 205 210 pound kid building them up to to 255 would you rather get one of those guys that's already around 240 250 does it matter do, do, do you care How, what's your what's your take on that as far as what you look for on the recruiting trail yeah you know i think it also depends on the fit of the offense um we were for a while there we were a little bit more spread um, at Central mm -hmm. this past year. The year before that, we were more a true two-back, two-tight end like we kind of are here. Mm -hmm. West Coast principles, kind of tight end sets. I want I want the biggest, fastest, strongest guys I can find. <laughs> You're right. Um, the kids that are 205 pounds genuinely have to have some kind of twitch or difference maker about them to me to take a chance on the fact that um, can they get that big? Can they get mm -hmm. to 250? Because at the end of the day, you don't want a 210-pound kid coming in here. They're not going to last in the Big Ten. So mm -hmm. um, I think the recruiting philosophy has to change a little bit in, for, in regards to the size of the guy we take here at Michigan versus Central Michigan. Um, you know, the guys that are here are a little more stout, a little bigger already than the guys that I, that I recruited at Central. Now, there are some guys at Central that I did recruit that were the size of Big Ten linemen. Um, mm -hmm. So... Uh, or size of big Ted tight end. So I, I want the the big, long, athletic kid. I love basketball players. The more mm -hmm. basketball players, the better for me. So gotcha. if, they, if they play basketball, I got uh, a green light, green light <laughs> blinker on me. I'm trying to look at those guys because that all translates to ball skills, body control, and all the things that, that really translate to the passing game. And if they're willing blockers and they're willing to put their face in there, I think we can teach them to block.